So, Batman versus Superman yes. was a script that was floating around from 2002. Uh-huh. So, this isn't the first time they've attempted to bring those two iconic characters together on the big screen, mm-hmm. on the biggest screen you can imagine, a cinema screen. But okay, so the story of this, uh-huh. right, it starts up with Bruce Wayne. He's been retired for five years. Uh-huh. They love their retired Batman or they the do, old yeah. Batman yeah, in these yeah, yeah. movies, don't they? Oh, he's just useless. So five years after he's retired, Dick Grayson's dead, Alfred's dead, huh. Commissioner Gordon's dead, the Joker's dead. Great. Now, at the same time, Clark Kent, right, he's not doing so well either. He was married to Lois Lane and now he's divorced. Oh. <laughs> She can't handle these hectic kind of superhero lifestyle, uh-huh. so she bails. So on yeah. the the man who's indestructible. Yes. <laughs> Look, I can't handle the way that if anything bad would happen to me or our loved ones or our potential children, you could fly around the earth in reverse time and they'd be <laughs> fine again. I just can't deal with that, man. Also, at the scene that introduces Clark Kent, he's in the office and he's typing away on his typewriter, and a guy comes up and Wait, he's like, "Wait, super fast typing or regular typing?" I don't know, just regular probably, yeah, because these yeah. people are around. Yeah, yeah, totally, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, and then and then a guy comes up and he's like, "Hey, Clark, we're going for a beer. Are you interested?" And he's like, "I can't. I got work or whatever, or he's got to be Superman or whatever." Right, right. And the guy calls him a dickhead under his breath. That is <laughs> a line in this movie. Mm-hmm. Batman, though, like I said, his life is starting to get better. He's found a a, a new love of his life. Uh huh. Famous comic book character, Elizabeth Miller. Not a character. Correct. Not a character at all. So they get married. Clark's the best man, and right? what happens. And then on their honeymoon, she gets stung by a toy bee, which is injects her with Joker toxin and she dies. But the Joker's dead. <laughs> you just said he was dead. So, what happened? Well, that's it. So he, then he decides he's going to Batman up again yeah, yeah, to totally. find out what's going on. Uh-huh. So he goes down to his cave or whatever, and he, he's devastated, as he, as he always is. That's kind of the, yeah. the default emotion for I was Batman. just over being devastated, <laughs> and now I'm devastated again. <laughs> so he goes down, he boots up the Bat computer as well, and a holographic sentient Alfred appears. Okay. So that's going to be his new Alfred, I guess. Which is carried over, I assume, from Batman and Ro- Robin, where there's also a sentient computer Alfred. Oh, Do you yeah. remember that? Not really. Alicia Silverstone goes into the cave and he's like, I'm a computer version of Alfred. Here's the Bat costume. Get out there. Do you have any training? I don't care. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Use this grappling hook and swing from a really tall building. <laughs> so then uh, Clark comes down. He tries to talk out of, um, he's like, listen, I'm going to find whoever did this. I'm going to kill them. And so Clark's like, don't do it, man. Be cool. Yeah. Be like me, Superman, who never kills. Mm. Be like me, right. right? But Bruce is like, you're an alien. You don't understand. You're not like me, man. Get the fuck out, basically, yeah. right? Also, should I point out that Elizabeth Miller is like the perfect woman? Some would even say too perfect, Mason. Oh. Some would just say just she's, regular. she's pretty good. Yeah, great. You know, nice. So sure. Nice. Sounds real good. Anyway, Batman has a run in with the Joker and his two henchmen. But he's dead. <laughs> yes. You said he was dead. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> I continue. <laughs> so, the the Joker beats down Batman for whatever reason using... Probably a zappy, yep. zappy joy buzzer. Joker punches. He's like, I'm sorry I killed your wife. How about we shake on it? Batman's all full of honour. He's like, all right. Sure. He's, <laughs> he's, he's five years out as well. Yeah, that's true. He's, like, he's a little rusty. Oh, maybe he's changed. It's... Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, before he can kill Batman, though, yep. which he's sort of about sometimes. Sometimes he's not. Depends yep, sure. on whatever version. Yeah. Uh, his henchmen stop him, right? Oh. So, maybe that comes into play later. Maybe it doesn't. It does. Okay, sure. Okay. Around this time, then, Bruce goes steal some kryptonite from a government facility for some reason, mm-hmm. assuming in the preparation, for because he knows the movie is called Batman vs. Superman. Absolutely, So, yeah. he's ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they have one more chat where Bruce and Clark meet. And Bruce is like, listen... I'm definitely going to kill the Joker. And Superman's like, I'm, I definitely have to stop you, even though that's uncharacteristic for me sure. to do such a thing. So, yeah. You'd think, if you were clever and canny like Batman, mm. you'd say, hey, Superman, I'm not going to kill the Joker. <laughs> I'm going to just be cool for a while. Yeah, you would. Just just do whatever. Maybe leave Earth for a while. Yeah. Maybe, because I'll... I'll I'll take care of all the other crime except killing the Joker. You've earned a break. You've had a tough run. Go into space, dude. You dickhead. You dickhead. (laughs) Meanwhile, uh, it's revealed that Lex Luthor, who was in prison, Mm -hmm. has figured out that Batman is Bruce Wayne. Like, he figured that out years prior. And it's revealed that he has cloned the Joker. So there's clones in this. He didn't think there was going to be. Twist. (laughs) In order to get Batman to come out of retirement and then kill Superman for him. Right. Elaborate enough? 
pretty elaborate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So anyway... You can uh, always clone Superman. Yeah. Have that clone of Superman <laughs> attack Superman <laughs> and hope for the best. But I guess I'm an idiot. You are an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is where the fight starts. Okay. So basically, the Joker sets up the meeting time for the Batman-Joker showdown. Sure. But Superman, of course, turns up first. Batman's though, he's ready for this. And he's got a kryptonite laced armor. So anyway, the, the fight is, is full on. I've written that here. It's real full on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they're pretty evenly matched. Like Superman tries to burn off the armor, but he can't because he's hit with like missiles from the bat wing. Sure. Uh huh. Which is bearing down on him. Then they punch for a bit. Yep, punching, good. Yep, and then Superman's hit with the bat plane, right? Uh-huh. He's kind of knocked back right. a distance. Uh-huh. And then he uses his freeze breath, which he probably should have done earlier on. Sure. <laughs> which blows Batman about a quarter of a mile away. And I've got here, he is somehow not killed. Sure, absolutely, yeah. Then they punch for a bit. Okay, sure. And then Superman flies up to kind of get away, to kind of get his bearings. Yeah, yeah. And Batman grapple guns him. Now, it doesn't say in the script... But I think he grappled gunned him on the balls. Because I think Absolutely, yeah. that's what would happen. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. Uh, Batman then climbs up. And as they're kind of tangling or whatever, they fall. But then Batman kicks him in the chest to get away. And then grapples and swings away. Hmm. Then they punch for a bit. Sure. <laughs> Superman then beats him with a parking sign. And uh-huh. freeze, bre- free- freeze breathers. Freeze breathers. Sure. His armor. Shattering it. Uh-huh. And then Batman hits him with a kryptonite arrow, and he's down. Presumably in his balls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> his one weak spot. Batman goes off then, and he just beats up the Joker quite a, quite a bit. Uh-huh, they punch for a bit. They punch for a bit. Mostly Batman doing the punching. That's it. And then the Joker reveals that he created this perfect woman, this wife, for Bruce to fall in love with, and then to kill her, and to manufacture this entire situation which was also manufactured by Lex Luthor. Right, okay. So there's middle management and there's upper management. Absolutely, definitely, yeah. So, yeah. So much paperwork. As Yeah, that's it. As Bruce is all like, oh, no, I've been devastated. I've been devastated by again. By truths. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My love. <laughs> anyway. This no. day's been a real bummer. <laughs> the Joker uh, shows up. Uh, the Joker's about to kill him, sorry. And just as that happens, Superman shows up all battered and he hits the Joker in the gut with like a piece of concrete. And then the Joker sets his two superpowered thugs, which were in it earlier, which I didn't. I don't know if I mentioned they were superpowered. No, they are. And Superman and Batman then fight back to back, oh, like buddies. Sure. And then Batman is about to kill the Joker, and Superman is like, "Bloody do it, kill him or whatever." Uh-huh. And then you know, because that's Superman we know and love. And then, but Batman decides not to do it at the last minute. Huh. It's not over yet though, Kelly. <sighs> <laughs> what do you? Uh... <laughs> It's this a is real... a very long fight scene. Yeah, boy, is it. Well, you get your money's worth, you know? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, this is the point where Lex Luthor shows up in a power armor. Oh, where he's like, I'm back I, on board. I'm back, yeah. He goes, I knew you wouldn't have the guts, Batman. That's why I'm here. I'm the villain. I wrote that dialogue. Great. <laughs> then they punch for a bit. They sure. all punch for Absolutely a bit. Absolutely, some punching. And then they tumble off a balcony. Batman is saved by Superman. And then as Lex explodes in his suit, but his body is inexplicably not found even by Superman, who can find everything. Sure. So, there you go. Mm. Then, at the end, Superman and Batman shake hands. Then, Batman asks Superman if he wants to go get a beer, and Superman asks if they can get a soda, and they kind of have a bit of a laugh or whatever, and then they walk off arm in arm. 